What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and it is a big day. Not only because we have gotten Arachnos, like probably most of you already have, but we are on the Mecarena test server. As you can see, my bay looks massively different. The content partners have access to a test server now, which is super cool. Now I know it looks like I'm starting fresh, but we actually have all the XP, which means we have access to everything in the game, which is super awesome. So we're gonna open up a slot here and get um, the, uh, uh, oh, all right. I guess it gave me one of the dailies uh, opening a slot. Yeah, this also has these weird rally research kind of things on here. These are like placeholder things, I think. Uh, they don't really have anything in them. Um, but uh, we're going to get Arachnos and I'm going to fully level him up um, just so, you know, we can test him, fully test him out at max level. Um, as you guys probably saw, these are the skins he has. Doesn't have a whole lot of skins. Don't know why exactly. I'm sure they're gonna add more. I'm surprised they don't already, but they gave us the base. But let's go in. We're gonna show the full upgrade process, but I'm gonna fast forward through this. Um, but if you're curious, you can of course watch it anyway. So let's just cycle through this quickly here. Here we go, last one. Oh, nice. Sweet to have this guy max. Now we gotta max some weapons to put on this guy at 32 energy, so we're gonna do that and get into battle. Here we go. All right, first test. You is my name. <laughs> yeah, they don't have me change my name right away, but all I did was max out Arachnos, so I hope I don't lose him too fast. I know he's kind of squishy, so we're gonna see how this goes, but I just, I really wanted to try the dual railgun on him, see how this guy does. Uh, as well as see how his turret performs. As many have already mentioned, this guy is slow. So he actually does all right with sprinting. His walk cycle looks cool. I just wish it was faster. It just seems like, you know, with, with two extra legs, come on, man, can't you, can't you move a little quicker? <laughs> so he's a little slow, definitely. Uh, oh, let's put that guy out. Oh, still got him with the railgun shot anyway. Nice. Oh, man. This is hard to get used to separate fire for railguns. Ah, dang it. Oh, my gosh. I didn't mean to hit it on that time. I'm going to have to adjust my controls with this setup because I think uh, I'm screwing it up a little bit here. Oh, that was nice. This That, that came back before the turret was uh, fully down. Nice. All right, yeah, this is really nice for the the turret is a great idea for beacon protection, um, keeping things square, keeping things at bay. Let's try to get in here and drop him right here. Yep, that's a good spot. Nice. I'll watch my back here. Man, dual railgun is nuts. I mean, you are putting all your eggs in one basket, which I'm not a huge fan of, but. It is, dang, it's powerful. Especially when they're maxed out like this. This is crazy good. Come on, do some damage. Finish him off turret. No, nope, no, nope, he's picking the other guy. That's all right. Come on, there we go. Got him, nice. Strip that shield off. Nice. Good job, turret. Oh, yeah, and he doesn't take any of that. Oh, I, hit, I shot both at that guy. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, good, and he finished the guy off for me. He had, like, a sliver of life. Nice. It doesn't seem like it's it's hurt by cheetah mines. I'm not sure what actually can hurt the turret. I know that uh, the guardian ability and I believe redox's ability can both take it down. Finish him off. Come on. 
Oh, he's so close to dead. All right, fine. I wish they would prioritize lower health targets. I mean, that, that other guy he shouldn't have shot at. Oh, I missed that shot. He's coming after me. He's coming after me. Oh, that was close. We got him, though. Good deal. All right, that guy back there, we got to go get him. Although, this guy's pretty slow. Oh, thank you. Heal me up. Wait, wait, where are you going? Don't run away. Heal me. Heal me, heal me. <laughs> MD always does that. The AI MD. It's like, as soon as you're like, oh, I need heal. He's like, nope, see you later. It's just, I think it's in the programming to not heal your guy. <laughs> this has got to be our last dude. Come on. Let's get in here and finish him off. Get him. Somebody get him. Oh, our turret didn't even need to pop down there. Oh, there must be someone else. All right, all right. Or, oh, maybe he had more than one uh, one bot left. Yep, it's probably the same guy back at the home beacon or the home spawn point. Let's see if we can uh, catch him. Mr. No Hope. He does have no hope, honestly. It's just him versus all of us. There you go. Boom, done. Wow. First outing with it, uh, with the dual railgun. I mean, I think dual railgun with anything would crush, so can't say I'm entirely surprised. I know Mayor did really well with this build too, but I also want to try the stasis beam 16, dual stasis beam 16. So we're going to max that one out and give it a shot as well. Here we go. Alrighty. Dual stasis beam 16. Got these maxed as well. My railguns were fully maxed as well, since we can spend resources how we like on the test server. Uh, it's pretty sweet to be able to see all this like in its final glory, final stage of maxed stats. Pretty cool. I really wanted to see how dual stasis beam 16 works out because I think it will freeze well enough. Um, and I know some other people have done some content on it. It freezes in like a second, does some pretty good damage. Uh, I don't know how well it'll go for Arachnos specifically it's a lot of sustained damage for a squishy body but i still think it's going to be pretty strong yeah i'm gonna have to do more corner shooting than i think direct fire if i had a bigger body like a, a guardian or something that could take more of that damage tanks it better Ooh, this guy i don't know what he had oh it's just thermal lances okay oh it's a shadow come on get him all right there we go nice yeah we already got center my team i think i got the good ai on this one <laughs> they're, they're covering my back pretty well here. Let's, uh... Yeah, it looks like they're good on the other side. Let's just try to finish these guys off over here. I guess keep pushing. There was one guy going back. No, I, hmm, I probably should go back and cover that spot. Yeah, let's do that. We got our turret there, but he's going to need backup. Can't take that. Oh, it's a kill shot. Yeah, you can't take that out alone. So, I, I don't understand... This is the one thing I'm, I'm kind of not sure on. The turret that comes up, it seems like if it doesn't see much action, it stays up longer. If it sees more action where it's like shooting stuff, it will disappear quicker. Because like my timer of 22 seconds starts right away, but it, it should only stay up for like 10 seconds, right? The turret. So like it's already past the 10 second mark right now, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm only at six seconds left for that and it's still up. So I can almost get another turret, which is, yeah, I already got it, and it's still up on the ground. So I don't know how the time cycle, oh, it just disappeared. I don't know how the time cycle for it works, but it seems like it hangs out longer sometimes. I don't know, I, I there might there might be a basis of like how much it fires. I have no idea. Maybe when it runs out of its clip, technically, and that would be a 10 second window normally. So, I don't know. The way though we're we're slicing through guys pretty quickly with this man. This is this is pretty awesome. I'm I'm liking this build and it, it is freezing really fast. Yeah, I already got unstoppable with it. Man, that was just look at that slice through that guy so quick. Oh, we're done. That was it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get up to godlike, but I could have. I mean, I'm sure that if I had more targets to shoot, we were doing well already. So that stasis beam is pretty rocking. I definitely want to try to max one of those out eventually, but I really do like it. It was solid. Both good builds. 
All right, so now that we've got to max him and try out a couple of max energy base build, let's talk Arachnos and my thoughts on him. Overall, these two builds are super strong, great on him, but also probably greater on other 32 energy max like Panther and Guardian. I don't think Arachnos is worth maxing. Um, he can probably do pretty well with rocket mortars, like they said in their spotlight video, or other long range stuff, even like javelins or long arms. Um, but he's got some issues. I mean, his speed and his health definitely are an issue, but they're trying to compensate for that with his energy and the turret. The energy is decent, of course, that's nice, but uh, the turret, man, it's it's just not, I don't think it does enough here. So it's uh, the damage 256, that's per shot. Um, and uh, it kind of fires like a plasma cannon, like maybe plasma cannon six, maybe eight. I'm not totally sure. Based on its fire rate and its damage, it's similar to that. I think the range is like 30, 35 ish meters, which isn't bad. Um, but it's not amazing. It's not taking down shields fast enough. Um, it's not a threat. That's the problem. This this ability right now is not a threat. So you're sacrificing speed and health for something that isn't giving you enough benefit. The turret really needs to do better. And there's a lot of ways they could fix that. I mean, I have thoughts on that, of course, and I'm sure you guys too. They could um, just simply boost its damage or its fire rate to make that stronger. They could allow you to put down more than one turret so you can kind of set a perimeter um, and guard areas, which would be really nice. Uh, or they could change what fires out of it. Like a thermal lance would be interesting so that people will want to get out of the way of that suppressive fire. Otherwise, they'll be overheated and take more damage from everything. But overall, I think like there's just not enough here. This guy needs some adjusting if you want to go top end with him. Because currently, yeah, we're all going to get him for free. He's a nice toy to play with. Um, as a defensive mech, the idea is good, but he's not quite there. And he's not going to outpace other mechs that you should max. Especially right now when it's super expensive expensive and you don't have blueprints, this is a guy you can shelf. And I hope that they see people shelving him more um, and that they hopefully boost him because right now, even at max, he's just not worth it. I, I don't think he's worth it. Um, I plan to maybe do a, a, an is it good in the future? Um, maybe soon. I, I'm not totally sure because I don't really know what this is going to be like for this mech, what they're going to change. But at its current state, I don't think it's worth, beyond getting him free, <laughs> of course, investing too much into this guy. But I don't know if you guys agree, disagree, have thoughts on what could change about him, what you like or dislike about him, all that kind of stuff. Feel free to comment with below and we will see you out there on the battlefield.